The human ear is one of the most efficient sound detectors known. A very delicate and sensitive instrument that operates in a remarkable way. Think of how a piano sounds when it's played. Do you realize that the sound you hear is played all over again on a perfect little musical instrument inside your ear? You see, the piano is really just producing sound waves. And when these vibrations reach our brain, then we hear the tones. As the keys are struck, felt hammers hit the strings, causing them to vibrate. Now, each pulsating string sets the air around it vibrating in the same way. These vibrations, or waves in the air, are picked up by the outer ear, go down the auditory canal, and are carried by the bones of the middle ear to the cochlea, which is all rolled up like a tiny seashell. If the cochlea could be stretched out, we would discover an instrument very much like the piano, except that it is much more wonderful, for the cochlea has more than 24,000 strings. When a piano is played, the ear's remarkable keyboard plays the same tones and sends signals along the nerves to the brain where we perceive it as sound. Of course, the outer ear operates in air, but the cochlea is filled with a liquid. And transferring sound waves from air to a liquid is one of the most difficult problems known to science. But in the ear, this problem is beautifully solved by the precise design of the middle ear with its two diaphragms of just the right size and three connecting bones that provide the exact leverage required. These tiny bones, called the ossicles, are just right to do the job that enables us to hear properly. But the real wonder of these little bones is the fact that their size never changes from the time you were born. The ossicles of an adult and a child are just alike. As you grow and develop, every bone in your body grows and develops. Everyone except your ossicles, they are fully developed at birth.